Hey YouTube, Mr. Rampro. I wanted to do a quick overview of the uh, Cold Steel Fin Bear before I uh, go outside and tear it up. So, let's go ahead and get started with it. I will show you the sheath it comes with, just like the Roach Belly. And all the knives in that line, those cheaper type knives, all come with this, uh, I would say, a covered cardboard sheath. I really don't know what's inside of there, but I would imagine it to be like a cheaper cardboard, something that gets wet that probably would not last an extremely long time. I do like the fact that they add something here so that your blade rides against it versus the stitching on the side. So that's always a definite plus. You see that in a lot of your higher end, like leather sheaths and stuff like that. It fits extremely snug and rides really deep. So I do like that as far as the carry. I have carried the cold steel knife usually. Um, sorry, not the cold steel knife. The cold steel roach belly. Roach belly. And I carry it usually just like this. It rides fairly deep in the sheath also. You can see pretty much the same exact sheath, just a different length on it. But um, it stays in there pretty well. It retains in the sheath fairly well. I don't have a problem with it. Um, this one has uh, been my bushcrafting knife, my outdoors camp knife, uh, since I broke my Buck 119 Special. And we got the Fin Bear to see how it does also. It comes uh, not so sharp from the factory, but you can hone that up and kind of take care of it. You're also looking at a $13 knife. The grind lines are not perfect. No, they're not, but like I said, you're looking at a $13 knife. So I would say that this would be comparable to a uh, Mora, one of those type knives, the Mora of Sweden knives or whatever. I don't have any of those to compare it to. I will get some now that I've uh, kind of been turned on to the bushcrafting outdoors kind of uh, mentality or the hobby or something like that. So uh, I'll definitely get some of those too to show you guys. But I think that this will uh, be a pretty decent uh, camp knife. And the reason I went with this cold steel fin bear was the fact that this roach belly, both of them have really worked out fairly well. Both of them were kitchen knives, and then uh, this one came out of the kitchen when I broke that buck knife. And uh, it hold, seems to hold up fairly well. Shreds cardboard boxes with ease. I mean, honestly, a lot better than some of my folders. I can get this blade. I don't know what blade steel it is. I don't really care. But I can get this blade steel s extremely sharp. And in all honesty, I can get it sharper than my S30V just out of the ease of sharpening. You know, I mean, this thing, I can get it sharp, but it loses that edge so quick that I can get it right back. This here, I can get right back sharp twice as fast and it's it's extremely uh, great when you're out in the field if you did need to sharpen on a rock or something like that you want kind of a softer steel with it you don't want something like S30V that's gonna be a pain in the tail to sharpen because if you're out in that kind of situation you want to be able to sharpen it on anything you can find a piece of glass, a rock, a piece of slate, anything so I would definitely say that the blade steel wins out on that deal um, the stainless, and I'm not comparing that to S30, the S30V, I know that, that that's not even a feasible comparison, so don't worry about commenting on that. But I do think that they win as far as cold steel picking this blade steel to do it with. Um, the blade tip seems to be fairly good. Uh, this is an overview, not a review, so I just wanted to let you guys see it beforehand. Um, I think the belly and the actual shape, the straight handle, I think will lend itself to a utility knife. Um, extremely well so we'll definitely see I just wanted to kind of throw this out here if you guys have comments about it if you have one let me know how it's holding up I love reading the comments and I uh, love hearing from you guys you guys have these knives too you guys probably had this knife twice as long as I have you know so let me know what you think um, I'll make a response video you know later on down the road let you know how it's holding up and uh, you know get some good reviews out here good information passing so I definitely appreciate your time and uh, thanks a lot bye